But first tonight, there are more than 500 open teaching positions with DeKalb County Schools, but the district has just announced they're in a hiring pause as they work to figure out where the teachers that they already hired will go. Yeah, everyone from board members to teachers to parents, they are confused by this move, this news. So today, Caitlin Ross got to work digging into what's happening in the district. It comes down to this. The district doesn't know how many kids are going to be going to school here during the 22-23 school year. Enrollment has been declining since the pandemic, and many of the kids who they thought would come back to school never did. It, it was dismal. I, I was just, I felt misled. DeKalb School Board member Dr. Joyce Morley says she was shocked to hear the district will pause hiring any additional teachers until they conduct an allocation review at all 138 schools. And I'm sure the public wants to know exactly what's going on and teachers and principals want to know exactly what's going on. DeKalb County lost 5% of its student population during the COVID-19 pandemic and many didn't return. So now the district has too many teachers slated for schools with not enough students. Georgia Federation of Teachers President Verdelia Turner says that's news to the school staff. Nobody said a doggone word to us about any type of hiring pause, hiring freeze or anything. She wants teachers to be included in the conversation. Then we've always known that that number may sound good, but when it comes down to practice in those classrooms and the kids coming into your classroom, it constantly changes. According to the district, teachers will keep their jobs, but may be assigned to different schools than they were initially hired for. At a board meeting Monday, HR Director Takesha Ward-Smith says they are still onboarding new teachers. That there has been work going towards getting new individuals on board. The district says teachers in critical areas like special ed, math and technology will not be impacted by the review. But Dr. Morley doesn't think any of the teachers should have to move. There's no way in the world we should be caught in a, a, a catch 22 situation like this. Teachers should be told by tomorrow if they're going to have to move buildings. The district says they'll announce what they find in that reallocation review publicly soon. And DeKalb schools making headlines recently as many are in need of repairs. We took these pictures outside Sagamore Hills Elementary School where some repairs are underway. The state school superintendent has even gone on the record admonishing the district's Board of Education for not taking swift action to improve conditions as time is running out to spend millions of dollars in federal COVID funds. According to Superintendent Richard Woods, much of the $440 million available remains unspent and can be used to improve the district schools.